Hey there everyone, it's Jenny here from jennybrennan.me and today I'm going to show you how to install Facebook's new Pixel. Uh, this is a question I get asked an awful lot, I, something I do for clients on a regular basis, so I thought I would make this video to help you out. First of all, it's really important to know what the Facebook Ads Pixel is, and basically it's a piece of JavaScript code that goes between the head tag of your website. And essentially what it allows Facebook to do is it allows them to build audiences so that you can um, retarget people who've been to your site before. And it's really, really helpful in terms of retargeting, um, as I say, creating lookalike audiences and things like that. So why it's important, I suppose, is uh, Facebook are going to um, track those people who've been to your site. And it's also going to help you decide how much money to spend on your Facebook ads. I know a lot of people struggle with, um, you know, they've spent money on their Facebook ads, they don't think it's worked, or they're not sure if it's worked. And this is one way in which you can actually measure your return on investment on those Facebook ads. So really important to note as well that Facebook are actually, um, they're, they're phasing out their old pixel. They did have another pixel. Um, I won't go into what that was like because it's not relevant anymore. So it's really, really important that you follow the steps um, here as well. So I'm just going to minimize down this little screen grab here for you. And I'm just going to go into my ads manager and give you a little bit of a, a look around at where to find your pixel. So as you can see, you may or may not be using Business Manager, and that's why my account might look a little bit different to you. But if you go into Facebook Ads Manager and you scroll down to Tools and go into Pixels, this is where you're actually going to get the information about your Pixel code. So each and every account has um, their own ID. This is my individual ID to my ad account here. And that is the piece of um, information that goes into the code on your site so that Facebook can pixel people or they can follow people in other words on your website so you may be used to seeing ads on Facebook yourself if you've been to a specific website you maybe you've bought a dress or a pair of shoes and all of a sudden you're being followed by something to match it so um, it's really really powerful you can install this pixel ID on multiple sites multiple URLs as well but just know that this ID is individual to you if you want to share pixels, you can also do that, but you need to use Business Manager, and I suppose that's probably a topic for another video. Um, before we go through the how-to, I just wanted to give you an overview of some of the tools that I use and that are going to help you as well. So before you actually even go down this process, you need to make sure that first of all, you've got an ads account with Facebook. You have a website, really, really important. You have your Facebook Pixel Helper, and this is just a Chrome extension that you can get from the Chrome Web Store. It's free, you just download it. So that's going to help you later on. If you're using WordPress, you can use this really great plugin called Per Page Add to Head. And basically what that does is it allows you to install your code really, really easily. There's also a Facebook Pixel implementation guide. And this, again, walks you through, this is straight from Facebook themselves, it walks you through the actual implementation, um, just in case you need some referral resources after um, this tutorial. And then you are also going to want to be able to measure conversions on landing pages. So I'm going to walk you through that step as well. Um, and I'm going to show you how that all works. And then I'm going to actually show you how to implement the pixel on the page over here. So as I said, going back to the beginning, what we need to do first of all is we need to get your piece of pixel code and you can find that in under tools, under pixels, and here's your pixel code. And simply all you have to do is you need to copy it and then you need to go over to your website. This pixel is actually needs to be installed between the head and head tag in your website code. So you can see that Facebook actually tell you exactly what to do and it's going to track the visits to every page on your website. So as I said earlier, what I have done is I have installed um, this fantastic plugin, which I find is really, really easy actually. Um, it's called Per Page Add to Tag, and it's for WordPress. Um, I know there are options for other um, platforms as well, and I will do some research and add those into the bottom of this video and this blog post for you. So all you do is you simply take your code, copy it, and then paste it in here, and that is done. Your code is installed on your website, and it goes onto every page of your website as you can see over here. 
so that's great. Once you have this done, you need to make sure, obviously, that your pixel is active and that it's ready to be used in your Facebook advertising. So when you go back to your homepage of your website, you can check this with the Facebook pixel helper that I just outlined up here for you. And you just click on this. And as you can see, Facebook is telling me, uh, the pixel helper, excuse me, is telling me that the Facebook pixel has loaded successfully. If you get a red line and an error, it means that there is something wrong with the way the code has been installed. It's either in the wrong place or there's something um, more sinister going on. I think it's really important for business owners um, to know that this is available, especially if you're outsourcing things like coding and you're not technical and you need to get somebody to do this for you. And um, this is a way of you checking that they've actually installed the pixel properly for you. So the next part of running ads, so we have this, I suppose, first part and it's very, very important to get traffic to your site, make sure people are reading your blog posts um, and that you're, you know, you're getting those people over there. But what if you have been sending people to your site for some time, uh, you know that they know you, they know that you know that they like your content and you've been sending them back to your blog posts every week. You, the next step you want to take is you want to get them on your email list and you probably want to do that sooner rather than later while they're fresh in the funnel, as I call it, the, the Facebook funnel. Um, and so one of the ways in which I do this is I grow my list and I grow my community by driving um, traffic to a free membership that I have. It's online marketing stars on Facebook. And I also have lots of free resources for business owners to use. Um, and what happens is people get sent over to this landing page, they get to submit and confirm their details, and that means then that they have gone onto my email list. But when I'm spending money on Facebook ads, I need to be able to track exactly what I'm spending and make sure that the results make sense. Because again, if I'm spending five, 10 uh, euros or dollars per subscription, that may be way too expensive. But again, these are numbers that you're going to have to know yourself. For me personally, if I get a subscriber for under one euro, I am usually a happy camper because I know the conversion rate of my list when I'm selling my products and my services and my coaching and courses. So what you need to do at this stage is you're going to have to go over to your success page. This is the page where people actually land after they've put in their details and really, really important that you've got your pixel code. So we saw earlier how we have the universal pixel, which is the main pixel um, on the page. And I know that I can track traffic, but I want to be able to optimize my ad for those conversions. In other words, for those sales or those leads onto my email list, I need to be able to measure exactly what I'm spending. So the next step is you basically need to um, go into edit page on this specific page if you're using WordPress. So if you're using a different platform, um, it doesn't matter, just make sure that you're definitely on the success page um, that you're using. This is really, really important because um, the, the edited piece of code is going to have to go in here. And all I do at this stage is, as you can see, this plugin also gives me an option to add to the head of a specific page on my website. And the code is exactly the same all the way through until we get to here. This is the complete registration piece of JavaScript code that has now been put into my main um, pixel, uh, into my main pixel code in here. So what this means is that when people actually land here and I've been running some ads, is that my ads are going to report back that people have completed registration and how much that has actually cost. Uh, but it also means that you can optimize your ads so that you get the goal or you get the outcome that you actually want. So to make sure again that that's actually been done, we can actually preview the page and we can use our trusty friend, the Pixel Helper over here. And what that's going to do is it's going to show us if we have successfully installed the Pixel. And as you can see, I have successfully installed this pixel. And all I've done is I've added an additional piece of code um, on that page. Now, if you want some more help on how to do that step by step, as I said, Facebook have their own implementation guide and they walk you through each step. They show you how to do the base code and then they show you how to add um, your standard events in here. Um, and they also show you how to customize and as you go down through this implementation guide, 
um, you also get the option. Obviously, it shows you um, how to know if your pixel is active or not. So we're going to take a little bit of a look at that. But before we do, I just wanted to bring to your attention that it is also possible to um, create uh, custom conversions. Um, so you can actually do that by creating custom conversions over here. So you may be using um, products like lead pages or other landing page um, solutions, and you might want to create a specific um, custom conversion for that landing page, and you can do that here. Just really, really important to note that if you're using these custom conversions, you're actually only limited to creating um, 20 of these in total. And I suppose the limitation is that if you create one and it's wrong, you can't actually delete it. From my own personal experience, I prefer to put the standard events into my success pages. I just find it more straightforward. But again, um, this is something you have to try for yourself and make sure that it makes sense for you. So let's just walk through very quickly if I was to create an ad, um, getting people to come over and join my community. All I would do is in my ad manager is I would choose that I want to increase conversions on my website and then I choose the actual URL that I want to um, send people to. And then what I'll do is I'll actually make sure that I choose the standard event that is on that particular page. And as you can see here, I chose complete registration. So I want to select that. And then I give my ad a name um, that I know I'm going to be able to find later on because when you're running lots and lots of ads, you need to be able to identify them. And in my next tutorial next week, I'm going to do some more around audiences and um, the possibilities that are available. There are so, so many possibilities um, in terms of targeting people on Facebook. So that's going to be next week's tutorial. In the meantime, I hope that this has really, really helped and that I have made it as simple as possible. Um, again, I always say to my students, it's really important to do these things yourself. Um, definitely make mistakes and that's exactly how you're going to learn and get it done right. And in the meantime, if you're not a part of my community and you haven't joined my online marketing stars, please do visit my website. Um, if you click on free resources, you get some really nice freebies over there. Join the community and in the group, I do some extra videos and live videos and we've got some really great networking going on over there. So until the next time, I will bid you good day. Thank you.